Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to Long Neck Lakowski's Cannery. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Before we start making our way to Long Neck Lakowski's cannery, let's go ahead and put two levels in. First level into toughness, and then our second level into pickpocketing. We'll do one more level into pickpocketing, and then we'll start leveling up strength, endurance, and luck. We're just kind of backtracking where we've already been. That's the courier that didn't make it with the serum. Over there is a raider camp. If you want to go up there and take it down, you can. Or take it out, whatever you want to say. There's a little elevator over there that you can take up to the raider camp. I'm not going to mess with it. It's not really that important to me. There's nothing really special over there, so just some loot. Good lord, what is going on over here? Love the explosive weapon that I got here. Poor settler. Didn't stand a chance. Over that way is the Far Harbor DLC. We'll be doing that a little later on. Actually, a lot later on. Just looking around. Gonna be making a left over here in just a moment. I think this place is called the Mahakra Fish Packing Plant. That took care of them. I don't know if I'll crouch very much in this episode just because it seems like stealth isn't really working out for us lately, considering I'm having my Pip Boy lamp on all the time. That's on me, though. Let's go inside. Hello. We're going to be fighting some synths. Push the big red button. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Hey. 
Ugh, dog meat, you're in the way, man. I'm trying to loot. Take the elevator down. Die now? Well, if you say so. Following Institute protocol, eliminating hostile. Upper limb systems offline. That's pretty awesome. I do like that legendary. Hostile sensor reading detected. Somebody blew themselves up. Arm damage. <coughs> <Identity> efficiency. <coughs> Sustaining damage. <coughs> Attacking enemy. Where are you at <coughs> there? Statistically speaking, your survival is improbable. Sustained. We're gonna go behind the stairs here in just a moment once we kill that scent. <coughs> oh my goodness, dog meat, you're being so annoying today. Go over here. We're going to grab a Tesla Science. Perfect. It would appear my target has disappeared. Go to the top. We can loot this steamer trunk. Take the elevator up. Attack detected. Possibly. An enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Combat initiated. Please lower your weapon. <coughs> I am the victim of violence. Good lordy, they're everywhere. Combat subroutine. Eliminating all hostiles. Let's blow that up. I don't want to die because of a truck. That would be embarrassing. Let's go outside. Got some more sense to take down. gonna come around here normally I wouldn't care but I want to see what kind of legendary that synth dropped Ugh. not even that good well it may be I just don't like metal armor now we're gonna backtrack we're going to go over by the coastal cottage and discover that. That can be turned into a settlement if you clear it out. It's pretty cool. 
just a lot of clutter. Kind of hard to build around. In my opinion, not one of the best settlements in the game. Come up here real fast and just discover it and then turn around. Get some motherfucker. Where's he at? Oh, they'll fight each other. Have fun, guys. You kill those Myrlurks. Should be a Myrlurk queen somewhere over here, so be careful. Normally, there's a Meyer Alert Queen. Ah, there she is. Over there's a trader that you can go up to, buy and sell some stuff if you need to. Kill that Meyer Lurk. Sounded like there was another Meyer Lurk, but I guess it was just dog meat. Let's grab Private Hearts Hollow Tape. We're going to get the quest, The Devil's Do's, or Do, The Devil's Do. We're going to listen to Private Heart's hollow tape real quick. Jeffries, Lee got the recorder working. So this is sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? What was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh, my. Connor! Where, where's the rest of him? Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, drive the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? Let's go inside the Museum of Witchcraft's basement. I love this side quest. So creepy. gonna crouch real quick just to get a stealth attack off and that's how you take down the death claw let's come over here grab our last grognag the barbarian magazine nice Then we'll loot this steamer trunk. Let's go ahead and listen to this holotape. Uh, a nest 
full of death claw eggs. A dozen, maybe more. Smashed to bits. Except this one. No wonder they wouldn't tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses and that glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff them. I guess we know why that Deathclaw tracked us all the way from Lynn Woods now. We stole her damn kids. Christ. Maybe... Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? Let's go ahead and pick up the pristine Deathclaw egg. We'll be finishing up that side quest a little later. For now, let's go ahead and exit to the Commonwealth. We're going to take a right. We're going to come over here to Sandy Cove. Go inside. Welcome to Sandy Cove's convalescent home. How may I help you? I'm checking in. My family filled out the paperwork earlier. Welcome. We'll put you in Gladys's old room. Take the back stair and it's the first door on your left. Have a nice day. If you want to explore in here, you can. You can actually find some keys to get into all these safes if you want exploring all through here. We're going to hack the terminal to open up this door, so let's go ahead and do that now. Pick up the Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Bingo. Pick up this Pax Syringe. That'll deal poison damage. It'll deal poison damage Welcome if you're using a syringer, that is. Let's go ahead and exit to the Commonwealth. We're going to come up here. We're going to run and chase that Mirelurk down before he gets away. We need to kill him. We need to kill three you Mirelurks over here. There's one more right over here. They like me. run away for some reason. street before any more of them catch wind of you. Look, I'll open the gate and you get in here quick. I'm gonna let you in the bunker. Don't make me regret this. Let's go inside Barney's bunker. Excuse me. Son. Did someone drop you on your head as a baby, or did you have to work to get this stupid? I could have handled myself. Oh, I saw how you handle yourself, froze on the spot like a deer in headlights. If it weren't for me, you would have been cut up like a paper doll. Luckily, I've got Reba here to help me crack those crabs wide open. Isn't that right, girl? Who's Reba? Are, are you talking about your gun? She's not just a gun. She's top of the line. Best gun in the Commonwealth. Made her with my own two hands. Ah, oh, where are my manners? Introductions. Barney Rook, commander of the Salem Volunteer Militia, at your service. I'm also the quartermaster, sergeant-at-arms, and scribes for all official meetings. 
This here is Reba. But you two already met when she saved your life. Thank you, Reba. And thank you, Barney. No thanks needed, sir. The Salem Volunteer Militia is at the service of the people of the Commonwealth. Duty is its own reward. Reba says you're welcome. Now, I'd love to sit here gabbing all day like a couple of housewives. But we've got some work to do. And by we, I most definitely mean you. Before you showed up, the Meyer Lurks had been mostly quiet, and those that were a problem were quickly dispatched by my turret defense system. Since things had been quiet lately, I took the turrets offline to conserve ammunition. Obviously, they need to be reactivated. And that's your mission, soldier. I'm going to continue to hold down the home front while you go reactivate the turrets. What's in it for me? Look, don't tell Reba. But I've been working on a sister for her in my spare time. I'm thinking of calling her Reba, too. She's in the back room. She's not as tough as her older sister, but she's all yours if you help me out. Reba would probably get jealous anyway. The turrets should be easy enough to find. They're up high in strategic locations around town. Just be careful. All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire lurks. The town could be crawling with them by now. Let's go ahead and come over here and grab our last Guns and Bullets magazine. Perfect. gonna come up here turn on the first of our five turrets grab a gamma gun that's not bad that's not bad at all over here are some Meyer lurk eggs Take them out real quick. And then we'll go into this terminal. After grabbing that bottle cap mine. We're going to enter the password and then activate the turret. We're going to do that four more times. Oh, dog meat's getting beat up down there. Let's go into this terminal. Enter password, activate turret. And then we can come downstairs here. There's another Meyer Lurk. There's gonna be a bunch of them. There's going to be a bunch of them over here. Oh my goodness. Good thing that did not blow up when I was right next to it. Good lord. Meyer Lurk Hunter right there. Take him out. Or her. I don't know. Whatever it is. Nasty crab looking thing. That's what it is. We're going to come down here. Take a right. Kill another Meyer Lurk. Before we get to the Drumlin Diner, take another right. We're going to go in the church, go to the top, and turn on our third turret. Technically, it's two turrets, but who's counting, right? Not me. Crouch, grab ourselves a mini nuke and some 308 rounds. Enter password, activate turret. Sorry if this makes everybody dizzy. Hop on down. Okay, 
one more turret to activate and then we are done with this side quest pretty easy and quick side quest Downstairs you can find a safe if anybody wants to lockpick a safe for that sweet, sweet loot. Then we can go talk to Barney. Jesus, my alerts, calm down. It's not that serious, man. <laughs> I could hear that sweet, sweet machine gun music all the way down here. You almost caught me in Reba Midwalls. No problem, Barney. Glad to be of service. Well, Reba and I appreciate it. We won't soon forget you. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba, too, should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. Got ourselves a level. Let's go ahead and put that in real quick. There's our last level into lockpick. Or not lockpick, pickpocketing. Oh my goodness, to the end of time am I going to call that lockpicking. Let's pick up Reba 2. Yes. Reba 2 does 50% more damage against Mirelurks and Bugs. Pretty decent sniper. We do encounter quite a few Mirelurks and Bugs in the Fallout world. Let's go ahead and exit to the Commonwealth. We're going to go behind the church here. Make a right. This time we're going to go past the Drumlin Diner. Follow this road down. And then where you see this reddish, orangish trailer, we're going to hang a left around it. And then we are going to be encountering some children of Adam. This is the first time that we've encountered them. They are hostile to us. So be prepared for a fight. I absolutely hate fighting the children of Adam because they use gamma weapons, which irradiate you and is not fun. Make sure you take plenty of rad X when fighting them because they use gamma weapons and they also have nuka mines or nuka grenades as well so be careful for that take some rad away kill our rads for a second oh he's still alive I thought you were dead bad fool that's slow my fo fo make sure all your kids don't grow Actually, I think that gamma radiation is making sure that you don't have any kids, bud. Which is probably a good thing. Okay, be really careful if you're going to open up this steamer trunk. There's a trap. Now that we have taken care of all of the children of Adam, we can stand back up. Not that we were very sneaky in the first place. We're going to come over here, go downstairs, grab ourselves a cap stash and a wasteland survival guide. Excellent. This one's going to permanently take 5% less damage from insects. Right there's a safe 
if you want to lockpick it. Right here, that lighthouse, I absolutely love as a settlement. It's so cool. You'll have to clear out some children of Adam to make it into a settlement if you want. I'll do that off recording, so I'm not going to torture everybody with grabbing every single settlement. Yeah, I knew there was a blood bug over there. I don't know where he's at over there. Well, if he comes at us, then we'll kill him. Just keep following this road down until we get to Long Neck Lakowski's. <laughs> There's the blood bug. I seen him flying by. Go inside. Vince, you can't only take ten cans. You know it tastes better than that old cram or brahmin that's been sitting out in the sun for days. Uh, there, there are people out there who are hungry. You just gotta sell up the product a bit more. I'm sorry, but ten cans is all I can commit to right now. It was selling like crazy for a while there, but there's been talk about people getting sick. People, people get sick all the time. That, that, that has nothing to do with my product. Besides, I mean, I, I'm only selling the meat you people bring me. If there's something wrong with it, it's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Forget it, the deal's off. You want to sell your product to the people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn self. What? Hey, oh, oh, come on. Fine. Leave! You'll be back! Bitch. Hey there. Hey, sorry about giving you the brush off in there. Theo just gets on my last nerve, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not a fan of pushy salesmen myself. He's always talking about upselling the product and establishing brand recognition. Been reading too many of those old books, if you ask me. Did people really think like that back then? Anyway, enough about Theo. I'm sure I have something you're looking for. You should have a look. What was that in there about people getting sick? Theo got that old cannery up and running about a year or so back and convinced me and some of the other traders to start bringing his cans around. It was all good and well for a while, but in the past couple months, I've had people complain about getting sick after eating it. Don't get me wrong, not like people dying or anything, just, I don't know, the sales have slumped off and Theo's gotten more uppity. So, can I interest you in a trade? Where did you get that vault suit? Hmm. Never been to 81, I take it. I grew up there, but left to be a trader. Here, let me show you where it is. Nice pit boy, by the way. Mine was a piece of junk. Threw it out years ago. Care to see what I've got for sale? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. I'm confused. Care to see what I've got for sale? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. You've got yourself a deal. So, Trader Riley is quite buggy. As you could tell, I had to tell her to go to my settlement twice. So, if you're lucky and she doesn't bug out, you can make her a trader in your settlement. So, you can assign her to the goods and she'll sell some pretty good stuff for you. Like the goods trader, vendor, whatever. Um, I'm sure you know what I mean if you're doing the settlement stuff. All right, let's go ahead and go back into Long Neck Lakowski's cannery. <laughs> yeah, welcome to have a look. But uh, stay out of the old basement. It isn't safe down there. Scoop up some of this stuff now, that way we don't have to worry about it later. Right there, you can go inside here, and it'll send you behind the, um, I guess they're like ovens, big industrial ovens. You can go down there and grab some loot. 
over here this one opens up that one over there which just has uh, some mystery meat or potted meat in it we're gonna come over here get our last tales of a junk town jerky vendor perfect along with the barter bubble the barter bobblehead not bubblehead perfect We'll hop down right here. It'll be a little faster than going all the way around. And then we're going to take this elevator down and see what Long Neck Lakowski is hiding. I think that's his name. Makes sense, right? At least to me it does. Local elevator controls disabled by system administrator. Let's go in this terminal and open up the door over there. Oh, did dog meat open up that door back there? He did. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. It's just some rad roaches that are in there. Nothing important. Be prepared to fight a ton of ghouls over here. Matter of fact, that's what he's been adding to his potted meat. His ghouls, which is absolutely disgusting. But I mean, who hasn't eaten some ass jerky a time or two in their life, right? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Love how badass that feels whenever you're blowing the water up. Dog meat, get out of the way, homie. Thank you. I'm in the middle of blowing up the water. <laughs> Having way too much fun with it. Oh, bad time to reload. Be careful for the glowing ghoul. Over here we got quite a few ghouls. Oh, legendary over here, huh? Bloated glowing ghouls. They're kind of tough. They're more... Just damage sponges than anything. I want to find that legendary. Come on, dog meat. Get up. Quit messing around. You're fine. You're fine. Who hasn't crippled their legs every now and then?
scoop that up. And then right here we have a laser trip wire and a makeshift bomb. That sound was him blowing up the scaffolding. I told you to stay out of the basement. Now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. Let's get a headshot on him. Oh, his name is Theodore. That's right. She called him Theo. So his name is not Longneck Lukowski. Now we can exit out of here and we will end the video. But before we do, let's go ahead and get ourselves the Coast Guard hat and the Sea Captain's hat. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.